Welcome to another episode of Black, black and Blue. Oh, we both said black. That's uh-huh. fine. Because uh, I paused too long. Yes. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. This episode is called No Laughing Matter Never. because this episode is about a man whose name means laughter. Laughter. Mm-hmm. Isaac, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And we're going to be unpacking Genesis chapter what? 22. Yeah, the uh, sacrifice of Isaac. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's really quite the quite the uh, ask from uh-huh. uh, from God. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, he asked uh, Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, the one that he loves, mm-hmm. uh, which is kind of, I think, putting salt in the wound. Mm-hmm. I mean, did Abraham actually need to be reminded that he loves his son? Right. Of course he loves his son. Um, He's and- only been waiting for this son for like, what is it at this point, 25 years? How, how long has he been waiting for, for yeah. Isaac? Oh, yeah. About yeah, that. He, yeah, you're he's right. He's been yeah. waiting for quite some time. Quite some time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, a couple decades. Yeah. At least. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so, you know, this must have really just uh, made Abraham question a lot. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, he was called out of Haran, called mm-hmm. from his, you know, family gods and mm-hmm. from his, uh, his his language and his people uh, everything that was familiar, just to, you know, sacrifice a son that God promised he would have and mm-hmm. a son through whom all the world w- would be blessed. Mm-hmm. What's happening right now? Yeah. Was it all a waste? Yeah. Was, is this God just like all the other little G gods who just change on a whim? I thought he was yeah. going to be the God who kept his promises. Yeah, I thought this was, yeah, I thought this was a promise making promise keeping promise fulfilling God. Mm -hmm. I thought this was the God who was the same yesterday, today, forever. This God is just turning out to be like all the other gods. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, but, 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 you know, Abraham is, is faithful. Mm -hmm. And uh, what what happens next is very interesting. He he starts like chopping. Well, first he actually wakes up the, you know, a couple servants, Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, only, only, the only thing that God commanded Abraham to do is go and sacrifice your son. And, you know, he said nothing about servants, but that's the first thing that Abraham does. And then, you know, he stalls some more. He chops wood. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's something he could have done on the journey. Mm -hmm. Um, And and, and personally, you know, it's to me, it seems like he's stalling, waiting for a different word from the father, from from God, from God. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and, you know, time time runs out, though. Mm -hmm. It, you know, the, the sun is about to uh, to shine. It, it's almost morning. Mm-hmm. And he's not going to tell Sarah. She'll flip. She will flip. She will She will just, she will stop this yeah. from happening. No, you are not killing this boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is no laughing matter. Right. Uh, you know, this is the boy that was promised to us and we senior citizens had a baby. That is, that, that is a miracle. Uh, mm-hmm. God can't possibly mean now we have to kill the miracle baby. Mm-hmm. And so Abraham, you know, he leaves before Sarah can actually get up mm-hmm. and uh, take notice that, oh, what, whoa, whoa, whoa. and so they go on a three days journey. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think that, that really should get our attention. Three days. Yeah. I mean, you think, you know, Jonah three days is kind of important. Mm-hmm. In the belly of the big fish. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think that three day was a three day journey with the Israelites to uh, oh, Mount yeah. Sinai. It might have been. I think it's three or seven. Three is out. Yeah, well, we know it's three days with Jesus in the exactly. tomb. Exactly. <laughs> Number of like transformation. Right. Uh, yeah, and um, and so three days into the journey, uh, there's the mountain, mm-hmm. the mountain where uh, Abraham is supposed to sacrifice Isaac, mm-hmm. and he tells the servants to stay put, and he says the boy, and I, boy, and I are going to go over there and worship. And we will return. And that and is mm-hmm. so important. Mm-hmm. It's a while consecutive in Hebrew, I believe. Yeah. Because it's saying this is also going to happen. It's, you know, it's not just going to yeah. be a sacrifice. The sacrifice won't be the end of all of this. I am hoping, I believe that something more will happen. He hopes against hope. Even yeah. if he sacrifices, slaughters, kills his son, mm-hmm. that this is the God of, of, of resurrection. The God mm-hmm. who brings life out of death. And mm-hmm. And he's a living example of that yeah, because they, of, 
I mean, yes. Out of Sarah's dead womb, uh, God yeah. brought forth life. Little Isaac. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And so, and, and so, and so right there's proof. Isaac is proof. Mm-hmm. Life out of death. And so, so Abraham does believe that the boy, that he and the boy uh, mm-hmm. will return. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. After worshiping. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And so, so they go. They go to the mountain. They're walking mm-hmm. up it, and then Isaac he asks the you know the really good question. Hey, hey, we have the fire, but we, where's the lamb? Oh, well, yeah, we have the fire and the wood, but uh, where's the sacrifice? That's uh-huh. kind of a big deal, right, Dad? Uh-huh. You kind of need a lamb for a sacrifice. <laughs> and, and all Abraham says is, "God will provide." God will provide, and, and mm-hmm. that's enough for Isaac. You know, mm-hmm. we don't hear anything else from him. Mm-hmm. He is silent. Mm-hmm. And then they get to the top, and you know Abraham must have so much emotion mm-hmm. uh, just mm-hmm. going on inside. Yeah, uh, so many emotions mm-hmm. uh, as he binds his son to the wood, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, mm-hmm. and uh, I just I, I mean just I mean the the look that that son is giving the father, the father is giving the son. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I just I, it just must have been so emotional. Yeah, um, and. Uh, and uh, Abraham, he he raises the blade, and and what happens next? Abraham. Uh, who's saying that? An angel. Oh, okay, there we go. Angel <laughs> of the Lord. Lord, exactly. The angel. The pre-incarnate of the Lord. Jesus. <laughs> exactly from heaven is saying that. Yep. And uh, and I guess I'll, I'll just read the angel's uh, yeah. response here. Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything mm-hmm. to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. Uh. And and that's when Abraham he lifts his eyes up and he mm-hmm. sees what he sees a ram caught in a thicket thorns mm-hmm. oh a head caught in thorns well that sounds like something that will happen uh, like two thousand years later mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. someone's head will be caught in thorns yep and bound to wood <gasps> mm-hmm. Jesus um you know and, and this is actually the the, the mountain. Where, uh, mm-hmm. where, where our Lord, where the temple was. The temple and, was. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mount Moriah. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so the Lord will provide a sacrifice, not just, you know, this ram mm-hmm. that sets Isaac free. Uh, but, uh, but you know, this, uh, mountain is going to be even bigger 2000 years mm-hmm. later, mm-hmm. a bigger sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You're getting to Jesus. That's, We're getting. That's yeah. kind of. That's kind of kind of important. That's kind of like the main. Uh huh. The main topic. Yeah. Subject matter. Uh huh. Um. And and so what's interesting about this mountain, you know, so Abraham calls it uh what? Mm-hmm. Moriah, the the Lord will provide. Yeah, on this but, mountain. but also means the Lord will see. Mm-hmm. And so this is the God, uh, who has the vision and the provision. He has, you know, so he's the one who sees the need and then supplies all that we need. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, you know, here he supplies a sacrifice for Isaac, right, to set him mm-hmm. free. Mm-hmm. But this is why we're talking about Jesus, that, you know, 2,000 years later. Mm-hmm. Jesus dies as our substitute to set us free. He's the lamb who's slaughtered so that we can be free. Yeah. Free from sin, yeah. and death, sickness, sorrow. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And uh, in, in Abraham, you know, we're told in John's gospel, he got mm-hmm. to see the Lord's day. Mm-hmm. That's what Jesus says. Yeah. You know, coming down that mountain, uh, Abraham is able to see if this mountain is going to uh, be a big deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, there will be a bigger sacrifice. And that sacrifice is God himself. Mm-hmm. And as Abraham goes back to the servants, you know, he probably did have a, a smile on his face. Oh, absolutely. You know, he, uh, you know, he, he, he looks the same, but he's different. I mean, you know, he, mm-hmm. here's, here's this guy that realizes that when the Lord called him to leave his family and, and, you know, his, his, his house gods and, you know, his, his culture and everything that was familiar, he, he really, the Lord was asking him to place his, his past in his hands, mm-hmm. the Lord's hands. And, and with the sacrifice of Isaac, you know, the Lord was asking Abraham to place his future in his hands, the Lord's hands. And with, you know, his past and his and his future in the Lord's hands, mm-hmm. Abraham was more alive than ever before. Yeah. He now could trust the Lord in the present. Mm-hmm. In the present. Yeah. He knew that the Lord would uh, see all of his needs and provide. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. the Lord that has the vision and the provision, mm-hmm. that uh, that He could live in the present now, mm-hmm. knowing that the Lord had His back in life and most especially in yeah in death. He could live in the present because God was present with Him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, how could that not put a smile on His face? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and that's true for all of us. I mean, we're all yeah. Isaacs. You know, we're all the ones that are set free from our sin and death mm-hmm. and the power of big bad, big bad wolf Satan because of Jesus, who is the Lamb of God, who goes uncomplaining forth to the tree of the mm-hmm. cross, the slaughterhouse mm-hmm. of the cross, mm-hmm. where he is sacrificed for you and for me, for everybody, mm-hmm. um, so that uh, so that we can laugh. Mm-hmm. We can laugh because, you know, death, death can't touch us. Mm-hmm. Sin is forgiven. Mm-hmm. The grave uh, can't hold us. You know, that the grave's grip has been completely uh, just shattered. Mm -hmm. And we have a place uh, in the Father's mansion, uh, a place with with your name on it, a place with my name on it. Yeah. And so then as those little Isaacs, we can also be like little Abrahams going into today and the next day knowing our God's got our back. He's got our past. past. The past in his hands, nail scarred hands. mm -hmm, He's got the future in his nail scarred hands. And he promises to be Emmanuel, God with us right here and now. Here and now. With his vision and provision for every minute right here, right now. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. And that makes us more alive than ever before. Yeah. 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 More alive and way less fear. Way less fear. (laughs) Nothing to be afraid of. I mean, he is the Alpha and the Omega, and the, Omega mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. beginning and the end. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we get to, yeah, we get to place our past and future both in his hands mm-hmm. and live mm-hmm. now, truly now, yeah. with this God who has the uh, the vision and the provision. Mm-hmm. To him be all the glory. Amen. By his stripes. We are healed. Yep. Until next time. Toodles. Toodles.